Maka's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here, and welcome back to the Dead Space Remake Collectibles Guide. This is chapter 10, and we're gonna do a lot of backtracking, and we're gonna do a lot of backtracking as we finally have maximum clearance to basically open every single door. And the last two missions of the game are pretty linear and don't take us to any of the places we've already been. So we're gonna have to revisit a bunch of places and grab a bunch of things before we move on if we wanna have that 100%. So we'll be asked to go to the crew deck and from the main atrium, if you go to the tram tunnel, you'll come down this walkway and then underneath the staircase, you'll basically find Benson's rig. This will actually be your final rig, as Dallas's rig also counted, which gave us maximum security level three. Now that we have all of the rigs, we are ready to complete the You Are Not Authorized side mission, and this is the last step. Take all of the rigs that you now have and go back into the atrium. At the back of the atrium, you'll be able to take the elevator down into the nest, Inside of the nest, you can interact with the terminal. Interacting with the terminal will basically place all of the rigs and unlock maximum security override on your suit, allowing you to basically now enter every single door on the entire ship. If done correctly, your objective will be updated in the bottom right corner when you do interact with the console and your achievement or trophy will unlock. For some reason, mine just didn't show up on screen, but I did earn it. Next up, we're going to make our way back into the main atrium. And instead of going to the executive shuttle as our main objective here, we're going to actually go up the elevator into water purification. Now we're just going to wait for the elevator to get to the top. Once the door opens, there will be a master override door just to your right hand side as you exit the elevator. There will be a locker in here that will allow you to grab the high yield grenades and on a wall nearby, you'll also find another node, but make sure you loot everything before you leave. So now we're basically going to just follow the mission marker. This will take you to the crew deck door, which is on the actual tram station for the crew deck. And now we're going to be using the tram to fast travel around a little bit and grab a couple of collectibles we've missed or weren't able to get earlier. So we're going to start off by going all the way to the end of the line, which is known as mining slash engineering. And when you get there, go to the mining deck, which is on one side. The engineering deck is on the other side and then go through the mining mining operations door. There will be some enemies in a lot of these areas. I've taken them out for the video, but if you arrange these pillars using your kinesis in a specific way, it'll give you access to this kind of secret door in the back known as tool storage, which you can see on the map. And if you go inside of here, there's a bunch of things to loot, but for this video, we're going to be focusing on the upgrade located in the box in the corner. Now from mining, we're going to go to engineering. So we're going to backtrack our steps, but I'm going to keep it in the video. Just head back towards where we went and you'll end up back at the tram station. Go through the tram to transfer from mining into engineering. Once in engineering, what we're going to want to do is go to the left and go to the engineering door. Following the hallway will allow you to get into the control room. Watch out for some new enemies that may have spawned as well. And once inside the control room, look to the right hand side and here you will be able to find the preparation room. We've been here actually twice already in this series, but if you then go down into the machine room, go down the staircase and head towards the bench in the back of the room. Next to that bench is a master override security uh, storage bin and if you open that up you'll find the carbon fiber blades for the ripper 
This time I won't show the backtracking to keep the video a little bit shorter, but head back to the tram at mining slash engineering and now go towards the mining door, but instead go through the actual kind of uh, train shelter here, and then you'll be able to go to the hydroponic central hub using this elevator. This is a little bit of a shortcut so that we can get to hydroponics and grab some things along the way without having to take the tram and then backtrack all over. As soon as you exit this elevator, look to your right hand side to find a crate, master override it and find the precision laser inside. Pretty close by, we can also find a node. Continue down the hallway towards hydroponics central hub. And then once you're here, go near the store. There is a door that says that it leads to the West Tower. That's where we're going to be going for the next collectible anyways. But inside of the flow control room, you can also find a node. So watch out for the little sprayers as they do hurt you and you don't want to take damage unnecessarily. And you want to head into the third door on the left known as rare specimens. Inside of this door on the left hand side wall, you can find a node. From the rare specimens room, we're going to actually go a little bit deeper into the West Tower. Watch out for the sprayer, obviously, again, as you exit, but go kind of to the end of the hall where there is a little elevator, and then you'll want to take that up to go up a floor. This will just kind of take us deeper into hydroponics and the grow chambers. Head down the catwalk, and at the end of the catwalk, enter through the door, which is the West Grow Chamber. And inside of the West Grow Chamber, go to the central area where there's an elevator and take it to floor number two. Once you reach the top of the elevator, you're going to want to go to the door that does not have the circuit breaker on it. This door will be labeled the hydroponics control room, I believe. And then inside, look to your left and you'll find yet another door here known as the nutrition systems. And inside of nutrition systems, you'll be able to find a node on the wall to your right hand side. Now this node in and of itself isn't all that important. What's important here is the working discreetly log, which will also complete the premeditated malpractice side mission. So if you were to continue through the nutrition systems and then end up in the lab, once inside here, you can find an audio log on the table. And once this audio log stops playing, you will unlock the achievement slash trophy for completing this series of side missions for investigating hydroponics. Watch out for the enemy that does spawn as as they can take you out and then you'll want to head back to the tram by backtracking our steps or going to the hydroponics central hub going through the sapling room to end up at the hydroponics tram tunnel either way you'll end up taking the tram towards medical once at medical go towards the security station and once you reach the security station head through the far door which is the research wing that leads towards the main lab now there's a couple of different ways to get where we're going i'm going to take what i believe is the shortcut which is to go through this door using the stasis and then go down the hallway down the ramp and into the main lab now you can either take the elevator all the way on the far end of the room or go through the limb prosthetic therapy stimulation lab directly in front of you where we found the shock pad take that go through towards the sanitary showers take the door towards the prosthetic center and then take the elevator down into this green room and just outside of the green room is a master override door and once you get inside you should be able to find the upgrade called portable heliotron so make sure you grab that before we move on Now from the last collectible, we're still inside of some of the research wings of the medical center. We're going to basically be making our way through to like cryogenics and the chemical lab. It's kind of a long journey and it's a lot of windy turns, but if you're familiar with the area, it should be easy. If not, just pull up your map and uh, take a look at it. But basically, we're going to start by backtracking our steps towards the security station. Thank you. 
Once you reach the security station again, take the door towards Diagnostics Imaging, which is the door to your left where we from where we came from, and then you'll want to follow the hallways for a little bit. Ignore the coolant pipelines room and then continue down the hall. For some reason, it's extremely dark on my playthrough here, but if you take a left-hand turn at the end of the hall, you'll end up at Imaging Diagnostics, and then just head forward and don't take the elevator, instead go through the next door. This door will lead to the chemical cryogenics labs and then go through the hallway in towards the chemical lab and through the chemical lab, take a right hand turn and then enter the hallway towards cryogenics. In this hallway towards cryogenics, you'll be able to find the lab storage room, which is locked behind key access. But if you head inside, you will find an upgrade here. We're finally done all the backtracking so you can take the tram towards your main objective on the crew deck. Once there, go through the zero G gym as a part of your main objective to finding the crew key. At the end of the hall, you can find the locker room and the showers instead of following the mission waypoint. And inside of here, you can find the schematics for the advanced engineering rig, which is the last suit upgrade if you want to buy it. From then on there, go through the next door and in this room on one of the stools, you can find a log called the Z-Ball Rules. Now from here, we can actually play Z-Ball itself and you want to do this because there is an achievement or trophy specifically tied towards Z-Ball, which is for basically completing the game and finishing level 6, which happens at 220 points. Basically, what you're going to be doing is using your kinesis to grab balls out of the air, throw them through the colored hoops in any order you want. But if one of the colors is glowing, that's going to give you 10 points instead of five. The first time you attempt this, there will be enemies. So basically, I would recommend just failing your first time on purpose. And then after that, on your second time, the enemies won't bother you. Basically, just grab the, bo the balls, put them through the hoops. If there's a glowing hoop, prioritize that. And I was able to finish with almost 15 seconds of extra time. You will unlock the achievement or trophy for doing the Z-Ball level 6. And additionally, now when you go back into the room we came from, you can open up all six of the prizes, one of them being a node, which we definitely want. If you follow the main objective, you'll end up grabbing the crew deck key card. Then you'll have to return to the common area that we came from earlier. Now that we have the advanced engineering rig schematic, we can go to the store and apply it and upgrade our suit if we so desire. Feel free to spend the money if you have it. If you don't want to, you can save it for later or just not buy it ever but you will eventually need it if you do want every single achievement or trophy. The next parts of the mission rely on destroying tendrils in the standard quarters, deluxe quarters, and executive quarters. And as soon as you go towards the standard quarters, take a left-hand turn instead of following the path to the right to find a node. Then eventually you will have to destroy the tendril in the standard quarters. So go inside, there will be a bunch of poison and there will be a tendril, which is one of those kind of like arms with the little bubbles on it. You'll have to shoot this as a part of the main objective. But if you go inside and take a right hand turn, look inside of the bunks, you'll find a log called Thank You Doctor. Additionally, in this room, before or after you destroy the tendril, you'll also be able to find a node in a room you have to go to. At the end of the hall inside of standard quarters is the storage room. You'll have to go here in order to grab the battery, but once you're here, you'll also find a node on the wall, which took me a couple of seconds to find. We've now continued the main mission and we've made it into the deluxe quarters where there will also be a tendril to destroy on the roof pretty much right in front of us here. I'm going to ignore that for a bit and instead I'm going to go through the second door here which is the consultant's office. I'm going to show you exactly where on the map I am as it can get a little confusing in this area. But if you go to the guest consultant's office there's a couple of things in here. Once you do come in here, it'll basically start a little cutscene. I think it lasts about two minutes. The monitors in front of you will turn on and then off. And this is all assuming that you are up to date with the scientific methods side mission. This is the last step of that journey. Come into this room, wait until all of the cutscenes are over and the door at the back of the room will unlock. 
there are two things to grab in here one of them is just an upgrade for the force gun but there's also a hologram that you can interact with on this computer that will start another little cutscene. this one lasting about another two minutes and then at the end of it you should complete the scientific method side mission unlocking the achievement or trophy congratulations for following that all the way through Now, while you're here, you can also grab the high pressure nozzle upgrade, which is available. You can destroy the tendril and take care of the enemies or do it before or after. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in, but make sure you do it before you leave the deluxe quarters. Go into the corner here where you can find the deluxe quiet bunks. And inside of this room, you'll be able to find a battery. You can grab this battery and then place it into the circuit breaker in the corner of the hallway. I believe all of this is optional as you can, I think, beat this area without this battery. But put this battery into the wall, watch out for the enemy that spawns, and once you take care of them, go to the circuit breaker and open up the first circuit, which is the doors circuit. Now you can back up from the circuit breaker and head through the closest door to your left that says to central nexus, and then take the first door on your right, which is the deluxe quarters. And then in here, there's a room that we weren't able to access before, which does have a maximum security crate, which has an upgrade inside. We've then made our way back to the kind of central area, and now we are trying to destroy our third tendril, which is available in the executive suite. And there's a bunch of logs you can grab here. Realistically, you will unlock your 150th log during this section at some point. As soon as you enter the first door, there is a log on your left hand side on the bench, so make sure you grab it. Continue following the hallway to the executive quarters, go around the corner and through the next door, and in the middle of the room you'll find another log, the Planetary Mining Investor's Guide. From this point on, it is up to you if you want to keep grabbing the logs, if you do already have the Legend Teller Achievement slash Trophy. Like I said at the beginning of the guide, you don't need every single log, you only need 150, so there are some extras, I will show them though. While you're here, go to Captain Matthias's office. Here you'll find uh, an interesting desk that may be of importance to you in your second playthrough. But you can also find a log in the corner. Then you'll be able to go back into the main room and go to the office next door and you'll find another log in that room called White's List. After going into the bathroom and grabbing the main mission objective, you'll now want to go to the chief steward's office. But before you leave the executive suites, go to the door here listed as Holt. And once you open it, go inside and loot it and take out the fuse. Watch out for the enemy. But the fuse will open up the door to your left hand side. And this is the second officer's office. And here you'll be able to find a bunch of good loot as well as a node. So make sure you grab that. You'll then make it to the chief steward. After a little bit of a cutscene. they'll walk away and the door will open, granting you access inside. There's a pretty obvious log as soon as you enter, which you'll want to grab before continuing with the story. Last but not least for this chapter, once you interact with the marker, it will start a little bit of a cutscene, and then you'll have to go towards the shuttle bay via the left or the right door. I took the right door, but taking the left door is the better decision because on the left hand side wall, you can find a node that you'll want to grab before finishing off chapter 10 and moving on to the rest of the game. Thank you so much for watching the video. Drop a like, share the video with a friend, a special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.